have you been? Good. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you for the support. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's been a historic season, and you guys made it special. I mean, congratulations to you, too. Enjoy it. You have been on a duck boat here before. 2007, you won a championship here as a player. You came in at one point with this team, obviously, thinking it could win a championship here as manager. Have you had a chance to tell the players what it would be like coming back to Boston with this trophy and this championship? No, nah, not really. I, I just hope they they understand how important this is for, for our fan base. Like I've been saying since day one, this is, this is crazy. This is madness, you know, and uh, you guys live this 24 hours, seven days a week. Uh, your ep expectations are way up there. But one thing for sure, the same expectations you guys have, that group down there has it too, and that's what they're the world champs. Sometimes you got to hit the valley before the peak. You lose in seven hours and 20 minutes in game three. We've all heard now about the team meeting. Give us a quick glimpse into that room. What you said, what they said, what it was like at that moment when you had come off what could have been a crushing loss. Um, it was a crushing loss for the people outside the clubhouse. Um, one thing I've been telling them for a while now is how proud I am of them. And that day from pitch one all the way to the last pitch, we, we fought and fought and fought. And at the end, we just, whatever, we didn't win the game. So, <laughs> so in that room, I, I was telling them how proud I was. And we made a point of letting Nate know how important he was for us. I don't know, I might be making this up, but I think I told them, I said, when we win the whole thing, when people look back to game three, they're not gonna remember who lost that game. They're gonna remember Nate Vivaldi in one of the greatest performance in World Series history. And with two outs in the seventh inning, the next night, you're probably wondering, maybe I should have said something else, because you're down 4 nothing. but Mitch Moreland, pinch hits. Woo. You've been pulling all the right Woo. moves. No. The three-run home run, Steve Pierce ties it up. You go nine runs yes. from that point on. And this is how Boston works, because in the sixth inning, they wanted to fire me. <laughs> no, yeah. I heard that Twitter went from Alex up there to Alex down there. But that's who they are, and I kept telling them, hey, thank you, you guys picked me up tonight. You guys picked me up tonight. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And now here we are, we're gonna have a great day today. That's awesome. What was that dugout like? Chris Sale strikes out Manny Machado. You've just won the World Series. Can you remember that moment? Is it a blur? What were those next few minutes like? I remember, I do remember. Um, so I went to the umpire to, to tell him that Chris was coming in and Jackie was going to play defense. And then I looked to right field and I see Chris coming in and the rest of the bullpen giving him a standing ovation. And, and you don't see that often. And, and just looking over there, I'm like, hey, man, we, we did it right. You know, they, they do believe in each other. They do care about each other. And then... Slider to Turner, swing and a miss, blocked by Christian, one out. 3-2 uh, slider to Kike, he didn't recognize it, it seems like it tried to foul it off. Strike two, and then the guy we've been waiting the whole season. And I turn around to Ron Rennick, I say, we've been waiting for this guy the whole season. Fastball, 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 slider, and now we're the world champs. Amazing, amazing. Couple last ones, Alex, then we'll let you get on your boat. You talked about that buy-in, the way this whole team, I mean, you got a guy like Brock Holt, it's the first cycle in Major League playoff history. He's not in the lineup next day, Tough but league. he buys into it. Tough league, you know, because you hit for the a cycle, you don't play the next day, that's how it works. So what was that like to have the players who said, I believe in this system, and I'm willing to put my own 
desires in the background for the team? Well, and you guys, I don't, I don't like talking about myself, but um, what this organization did last year, giving me a chance to manage at the big league level, knowing where I'm coming from, knowing that I had no experience, knowing that I was 42 and still learning, they gave me a shot. They trusted me. Uh, since the first meeting in Fort Myers with Jackie, Chris, David, and Sandy, I kept telling them, let's move on. You know, it starts here. This is what I want. This is what we're going to do. And this is what's going to happen. And to see it on a daily basis, just get the information, use it to your advantage, play hard, and win games. And if not, we just turn the page. Turn the page. It was awesome. In October, Brock hits for the cycle. He doesn't play the next day. Um, who else? There, there was a lot of those that they didn't care. Uh, I try to make a point every, you know, when during the season, I will tell you if you were going to start probably the night before or two days before. In October, we did it for the first few days, but then after that, it really didn't matter. I didn't have to text them. I didn't have to call them because they didn't care. They just wanted to show up help everybody out and win ball games and think about it the new york yankees yeah the sky was falling you know we lost game two and he was panicking here everybody was like whoa it's over we scored 16 at yankee stadium suck on it and then for how much i care about those guys in houston well we went to Houston and we swept them down there. Yeah. And to finish it off, we go to this historic ballpark that holds 55,000 people. I played there for six years and I know how special Dodger Stadium is. And when Steve Pierce hit that home run in game five, it felt like we had 40,000 fans cheering for us at Dodger Stadium. It was an amazing run. It was an amazing year. And you guys make it that special. Thank you very much. Enjoy.